Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, like the title says, I'm going to be showing you guys how to transfer your WhatsApp messages and data from your Android phone to your iOS phone. So it could be an iPhone, it could be an iPad, it could even be an iPod Touch if you prefer to do so. So I bet by watching this video, you either bought a new Android smartphone or you just want your Android WhatsApp to go onto your iPhone. And if you want to do that, then you're on the right video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to stick till the end. So before we get into the tutorial, I wanted to thank all of my friends who commented on my previous video. So if you want your comment to be shown on this video or in the next video, make sure to like this video and also comment below. I'll be sure to show your comment on my next video. So that being said, uh, let's get into the video. And uh, so the first thing you need to do, obviously you need to have an iPhone and you also need to have an Android phone. So when you have both things ready, all you need to do is grab a Windows PC. It could be a laptop or it can work on a PC as well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what you need to do. The link for this application is in the description box, so just make sure to download it from there. And after you install the program, I'll walk you through what you need to do. So I've already installed the application on my Windows platform here as well. It's called Dr. Phone. And like I said, the link below is the download link. And if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you feel like this content is helpful. So with that being said, I have the application up and running. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect my Android phone. So just easily I'm going to go and connect my Android phone to the Windows. And afterwards I'm going to also connect my iPhone. So as you can see if you have a password running on your Android phone or on your iPhone just make sure to uh, tap on trust on the iPhone like I said. Tap on trust and then tap your password. Once you open the application the thing that you need to tap on is called WhatsApp transfer. So just tap on that and then the application is going to easily walk you through the steps that you need to achieve or the steps that you need to take. If it doesn't run, all you need to do is just plug out your two phones, plug them out and I'll show you what you need to do. So now that you have the application running, so it says you have three options. You either have the option to transfer WhatsApp messages or to back up WhatsApp messages and then restore them to a device. But the most easy step to do is just to tap on transfer WhatsApp messages. So once you tap on that, it will show you uh, two options in which one is for your iOS phone and the other one is for your Android phone. So make sure to tap on, make sure to connect your phones. I'm going to connect my iPhone now. And then I'm going to connect my Android phone as well. So I'm going to unlock both phones. Okay, so now um, just make sure to tap on transfer files on your Android device because you need to give it permission or give it access for the application to go through. So it's going to ask you to turn on USB debugging. So what you need to do, you need to go. Okay, I'm going to show you what you need to do on your Android phone. So you need to go to your uh, settings and then you need to drop below until you find about phone sorry for that just tap on about phone okay so tap on about phone tap on baseband and kernel tap on the developer or the build number six times until you have developer mode turned on and then just search for usb debugging okay so t tap on the first option and just make sure to turn that on and then tap on OK. And afterwards, just connect your Android phone back to your Windows. OK, so once you have that, you need to tap on transfer files and then it should connect to your Android phone. OK, so I'm going to do the same with my Android phone. I'm just going to plug it. Oh, by the way, if it's asking you for permission, just tap on allow and then it should connect properly and the iOS device is connected as well. And that's it. So that's all it takes for you to connect your phones. And afterwards, all you need to do is tap on OK. And then both devices are connected. All you need to do is tap on transfer and it will start transferring your WhatsApp data and messages from this Android phone to the iOS device that you want. So I'm not going to do that because I obviously want my Android phone to have my WhatsApp installed on it. But if you want to transfer it from your Android to your iOS device, no questions or problems asked. All you need to do is just do these few steps. So that being said, that's all for today's video. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this topic or this tutorial. If it helped you, make sure to subscribe to the channel and also drop a like on the video as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.